Hello, friends and family. I hope all is well with you, and thanks for checking in with me today. You may have noticed that I've been kind of keeping to myself and dodging a lot of conversation. The truth is, all has not been well with me, and I'm making this video to tell you why. There's bad news and there's good news. So we'll start with the bad news. I have a heart valve disease, and last month I got test results showing how it's progressing. What I have is stenosis in the aortic valve. In short, what that means is that the valve is closing up and it's closing faster than we expected. Right now, the valve has lost somewhere between 80 to 90 percent of its ability to open, and my heart muscle is working really hard to keep the blood flowing through the little bit of opening. I'm not in any pain, and the only thing I notice is that I get tired a lot. If I stop and focus, I can feel that my heart is pounding all the time. It's like I'm running a race, even when I'm lying in bed. The body has tricks to compensate for the disease, but the truth is I'm running out of tricks. But there's good news. I found out before anything really bad happened to the rest of me. That's number one. Number two, there's science here today that will save my life. I can get a new valve. And number three, I have health insurance. But the best news is, I pre-recorded this video, and while you're checking it out, I'm either in surgery or recovering from it. So, problem solved. I'm in the care of an excellent surgical team at Hartford Hospital, using the best technology there is to do a valve replacement on this old engine. I'm getting a new valve that's a perfect fit, and I'm getting a new lease on life. This is science at its very best. If it wasn't for science, I'd be a lot less optimistic and this video would not be fun to make. These last few weeks have been a blur. I've been on the soaking end of a fire hose of information. But on the plus side, I'm a scientist by profession and I get totally geeked out by data. So I'm good. And I'm ready to talk about it. Ask me anything you want. I'll be get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll say it again. I am sorry, I kept you all in the dark, but I hope you understand I had to stay focused. You know that I love you all, and that hasn't changed. And there you have it. Welcome to my big medical adventure. Which brings me to my final point. If you've watched up to here, you really are a friend, and you probably want to help me through recovery. So here's what'll help. Don't send flowers. Don't go fund me. Don't hang out in the waiting room. And don't worry, but if you want to show me some love, this is what you do. Saturday, April 22nd, get yourself outside and march for science. March for these beautiful and brilliant and dedicated people who are making a future we can live with. March for your children, the next generation of scientists and inventors, for the teachers who will guide them. March for the researchers who will develop the next sustainable energy solution. Develop a cure for stenosis. To purify water and antibodies. To graft new polymers, make new batteries, new data on the health of the planet, and figure out how to reverse the poisoning of Mother Earth. In short, march for the future of science in America. If you can't go to Boston, or to Washington, New York, New Haven, or Hartford, or a hundred other cities, and make your own march wherever you are. The best gift I could get is a flood of videos from your cell phones when you're out marching. And me? I'll be organizing my own one-man march for science around the hall of the cardiac care unit of Hartford Hospital. It'll be day three of my recovery, and it's going to be a beautiful day. So thanks everybody, in particular to my family, far and near, to my mom, sorry mom, I won't do it again, to my kids, my grandkids, and to my colleagues at 3M, and at the Jonah Center for Earth and Art in Middletown, to my fellow musicians from the Players Night Consortium, and uh, all you fans of my alter ego, Cashlane Slim. I'm sorry about the silence, I'm grateful for your love, and I'm looking forward to your being part of my healing. And remember,
get out there and march.